Alrighty, Travis Wayne Goodsell. Looks like I get to do a commentary video. I haven't been able to do those for a long time. Got quite a few uh, comments to reply to that some people are going to be banned. <laughs> but need to be uh, commented on for you. Because this first one is rather amusing as he is pretending to be Mormon, and yet clearly is not Mormon. I will read it to you, and if you can't figure it out for yourself, I'll have to explain it afterward. I'll still be explaining it afterward, because you're not here to tell me. He says, uh, Jonathan Moss, I see you're very interested to know who this man like Moses is. The spirit just came into me and said, Son of man, tell him he has entered the church. He will see soon that I, the Lord, I am the Lord through you. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, he will soon see that I am the Lord through you. So I. He's telling me that I will soon see that I, so maybe it's not, uh, uh, I'm sure he messed up, <laughs> but uh, I don't know, maybe he's saying I'm the one. I've done the videos a while back. When it's in the playlist, uh, Who is the Man Like Moses? I think it's called, titled. It was to help Mormons know who to look for. And the basic premise is he has to fulfill prophecy. He can't just self proclaim. He can't just say, Oh, I, I've done this one thing that's prophesied, therefore I'm all prophecies, even though I haven't done any of prophecies. And so I've given examples of Russell M. Nelson, oops, wrong birthday, not him. Wrong birthplace, also not him, etc. The prophecies are very clear. He has a birthday, must be fulfilled. He has a place of living when he's born, must be fulfilled. Uh, he moves to several different places must be fulfilled. It has to be in the right country. Must be fulfilled. You getting the point? And so it's not just a matter of somebody coming up and saying, I'm the one. I'm me. I am he who is prophesied. No. There's more than just a man like Moses who will lead Mormons in an exodus. And yes, it's Mormons. That's also prophesied. And so, it's not a matter of spirit possession. Because Joseph Smith already established how that was to be done. When the Kirtland Temple was dedicated uh, during Passover, Moses and Elijah appeared to Joseph Smith in the Kirtland Temple, gave him the keys of their offices. They did not possess his body. Joseph Smith did not all of a sudden become the, the possessed spirit of Moses and Elijah and Elias and, and all these others, John the Baptist, and Peter, James, and John, and etc. No. Don't be dumb. Don't turn Mormonism into Christian. So, uh, yeah. It, this guy clearly does not know the scriptures, and since it looks like he's being told to tell me that it's through me, I, 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 uh, uh, he's not a subscriber, I think he's trying to be funny. He hasn't seen any of the other videos, he just came to this one. So I'm thinking that he's declaring himself to be the guy 
rather than that I'm the guy who's possessed. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to ban him. And uh, if you weren't supposed to be banned, oops. That's what you get for not being a random muse. He's next. <laughs> this guy is awesome. He's doing a countdown currently live for <laughs> Nelson's birthday. Which, on his birthday, you can look up in the morning sky and see falling stars. <laughs> the autumn, whatever, meteor showers are uh, falling right next to Mars, who I've already identified as Nelson, when Monson died. Confirmed it, solidified, Mars is Nelson. No doubt, no questions, that's him. I suspected it was him from the partial lunar eclipse that occurred on the 10th of February, 2017. That's when he gave his uh, uh, Family Discovery Day talk, and others have criticized it. <laughs> but uh, that was when the flood in Elko occurred, and flooding all around Utah occurred, fulfilling Revelations chapter 12, near the end, where the flood comes out of the mouth, and blah, blah, blah. And so, Random Muse says, I can hear Olivia Newton-John singing Xanadu. Xanadu. So, yes, Random Muse, Greek Muses, Xanadu. Totally appropriate. Awesome. You needed the world to know they are in Xanadu. He's giving me the lyrics. <laughs> that came through a million years that lived through all the Mormon tears it came to Xanadu a gazillion ex-Mormon light bearers are dancing in you <laughs> so yes random muse does not get banned he does not get deleted he's an automatic check alright so Granny Ni Mali so Granny Mali uh -huh. not a subscriber uh, and they're responding to LDS last days exodus first presidency says all Mormons like sheep and so there I was being critical as an LDS critic about how the uh, church uh, forces obedience rather than allowing Mormons to make their own decision as to which kingdom of glory they wish to go to in the afterlife because if you've forgotten Mormons don't believe in just a celestial kingdom and outer darkness. Heaven and hell for the other religions. Uh, finishing up this other video. And so, uh, when Oaks especially is, he seems to be the tyrant on this, he demands obedience in violation of scripture. Love is the number one commandment. And so that's exactly what I said. It's an obedience checklist. Even though I was probably calling it a sin checklist from uh, Spencer W. Kimball's Miracle Forgiveness, where he lists a whole bunch of sins and you have to go through and check it off. But it was, I was pretty sure I said what I can do and what we can't do and thus the, what we can do is the obedience checklist that Granny is talking about. And so they're being dumb. He told everyone to take their vitamins at the end of last year. Oh really? And that's going to cure us of coronavirus. Trump said to take bleach or other disinfectants to inject in our bodies and Nelson told us to take our vitamins and that's going to cure us. Which vitamins? Any vitamins? Flintstones chewables? I mean, seriously, come on. Find that general conference clip and his proud smile. And so maybe Granny McNally is being funny. Because a proud smile, that would indicate sin. So maybe Granny's being funny. Uh, so I'm going to allow this one, but I'm going to have to make a comment 
that, yes, an obedience and a sin checklist. A do and don't. Alright, so... Now, uh, getting to some abusive ones, I see. They're coming up here. <coughs> yes. I said a do... Yes, I said I do and don't check last. At least he didn't prophesy a commandment for Mormons to inject themselves with bleach. <laughs> yes, I said I do a don't checklist. At least he didn't prophesy a commandment for Mormons to inject themselves with bleach. Alrighty, at least we finish off with a friend of Muse. Alright, so this guy's going to be banned. He did the same comment in three different videos. Yeah. And so, yeah, he's just insulting me. He doesn't like my mannerism, he doesn't like the way I presented myself, and he's just being mean and abusive. And so, uh, yeah, banned. He says I might be like him. They're not inside jokes. Mormons are supposed to catch my jokes. That's the whole point of telling the jokes. See, he's not... Yeah. Uh, I'm going to flag one of them and then ban them on the other two. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, he's uh, responding to LDS Church's Thunderstruck addendum. Gotta watch the addendum. Don't just watch the original. The addendum is why I called it an addendum. You have to watch. But uh, he's responding to a previous response to a previous response. Uh, this is why he's doing his countdown to Wednesday. Uh, uh, he was first asking, have you heard? He's got asteroids. Asteroids on his birthday. Of all the luck. And then uh, uh, linked me to his video. And then uh, he's got another video where he's doing a countdown now. Uh, and so uh, I responded, yes, I believe I was the one who gave you the link to the uh, Stellarium program you're using in your video and, and loved his revision of Walk Like an Egyptian. And I really would like that song. It's kind of cool. It almost sounds like it's a guy singing it rather than uh, the Bengals who sings like Walk Like an Egyptian. I mean, Google it just to walk like an Egyptian. Bengals, yeah. So, uh, yeah. I <coughs> then uh, also uh, included uh, the latest video, I think, on this one to him, uh, where I go over uh, what could happen, uh, because we're in the final phase of the exodus of Moses. This is where the coronavirus kills the firstborn of Egypt and the firstborn of Pharaoh. And that's why the Prince of Egypt's picture that I use for some of these uh, covers is so vital 
for people to understand because they have most likely seen the movie so they know the scene they know what it means that's when Pharaoh says go <laughs> it's all so awesome brings me to tears uh, not like the Ten Commandments uh, Exodus Gods and Kings is just cool doesn't bring me to tears it's more realistic of the ancient culture but the Prince of Egypt they pull my heartstrings deliver us and, uh, yeah. so, and so yeah he responds uh, with uh, more 99 Luft balloons he does not mention love as me uh, which is another nines because nines on nine nine this week uh, is very significant uh, so uh, he wanted to point out that uh, this morning he heard that Sudan had a record record-breaking flooding that caused 99 fatalities and he says the nines are out in full force but uh, I mean that's horrible about the flooding but that's just the initial count uh, I would expect as in all natural disasters that more fatalities will be tallied it's just that our news never actually reports follow-up fatalities unless it's major <coughs> especially in the Sudan but our news doesn't care about the Sudan I have to go to Reuters to find out about that information maybe Bloomberg, but I've sort of given up on Bloomberg, I guess. I, I anyway. So yeah, there are signs in the heavens this week, guys. Signs right now. The whack waning moon is with Monson, its Mars symbol, in Pisces. He's Dagon, the fish king god, technically. But fish king god, there's one and the same. To the ancients. So, yeah. this is it, guys. I warned you from the beginning. And you said, screw you, Travis. We're only going to listen to Nelson, who's the true successor. Okay, it's having trouble loading. Six so far for the coronavirus reporting for the end of the week. And I'm kind of surprised that the last day's exodus, which I linked to the old video to replace the other link, because I redid it again, and uh, only 32 so far. So, very interesting. Alrighty. Russell M. Nelson, Ark of God, Thunderstruck. That's where I go over Nelson and scenarios to look for and so forth. So 68 on that one. It's somewhat popular because the last day's exodus has really been struggling. Not like my porn video, temple porn. I have to use temple porn. I can't just use Mormon porn. Nobody cares about Mormon porn. They want temple porn. <laughs> I have a temple porn playlist. You can go to the temple porn playlist and see what I mean. If you haven't already clicked on it. Let's do one final check for comments. Yeah, Alrighty. 